Peace and love, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Sheldon. I help people ascend their consciousness and I help them discover the path to enlightenment. Now, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm sending a lot of love, a lot of healing, a lot of um, good energy out to you guys. And I want you guys to pay that forward once again. Just remember that energy is always contagious. Be that light in someone's life today. Help someone out today because it really goes a long way. I always say if you help one person, you can help the world. So definitely pay your energy forward, guys. It is very, very important, especially in times like these, especially when every everything seems so separated, if you will. What we really need is to come together. We need to come together and unite and unite with love and that will save our planet. Now, today I want to talk about a specific agenda that has been going on for a very long time behind the closed doors and I want to talk about what I think is the next step for this specific agenda. And although this information is a little bit more negative, I just want to remind you guys that knowledge is power and it is better to be aware and awake of this information than to be sleeping and obeying. So I'm going to talk about the recent pandemic COVID-19 and what I think is going to happen next and what I think is going to happen next and what I know is going to happen next is they're going to come out with a second wave and this one's going to be bigger than the last one and they're going to do all this in order to implement more fear in order to roll out their mandatory vaccines so I want you guys to realize that fear is an illusion in that there is a very small group of people who are orchestrating all of these events in order to keep you in fear, in order to keep you divided. Look at the recent events with uh, George Floyd and you know Black Lives Matter. These are all orchestrated in order to divide us because a small group of people cannot control the many unless there's division, unless we're fighting amongst each other. So that's what's happening right now is this division. And through this COVID-19, you know, social distancing, people are wearing a mask, which absolutely makes zero sense. I mean, if you go out and do your research, uh, masks absolutely do nothing except for you're breathing in your own carbon dioxide, which in turn creates respiratory problems. And again, in turn, which will, they will diagnose with COVID-19. Um, so I can see the lies. It's very easy to see the lies when, when you're conscious. If you're not conscious and you're just, you know, looking through your five senses and you're believing everything that you're told, then you're you're essentially in a sleep state. So uh, this message is for people to wake up because we need to wake up in order to stop what's happening. We need to come together and unify in love and put out intentions of that peace and love in order to manifest a better reality for ourselves because right now it's being taken away our freedom is being taken away every single day and you know think about this now with the up and coming months we're going to get into you know fall and winter and people are going to start to you know get their coughs and their runny noses and um, flu-like symptoms and that's a perfect gateway for oh COVID-19 is back <clears throat> and imagine the panic People are going to be freaking out. People are going to be scared because it's very easy to manipulate people. And let me tell you this, guys. It is a lot easier to deceive someone than to tell someone they have been deceived. So if you're someone that's just been blindly following the herd and believing everything that you're told, I always say the sheep will be led to the slaughterhouse. And we need to start being the lion out of the pack we need to start realizing that we create our own reality that fear is just an illusion that you know these small group of people cannot control us they cannot control the many if we are awake and aware of what's going on if we say wait a minute this doesn't make sense I will not put a mask on I will not um, cease to breathe fresh air I will not social distance we need each other this whole pandemic is just another, you know, stage of control. And 
That's what it's all about. It's all about control. It's all about a new world order, a one world government, a one world currency, a one world religion. This has been the plan for the whole the whole time. This has been the this has been the plan. A one world government. So they create disorder in order to bring in a new order. I think in uh, 2001, George Bush, you can still uh, see this on YouTube, he said, you know, um, we are creating a new world order, and he's like, when we are successful, and we will be. And they're succeeding right now because the majority of the population is so easily manipulated. So, I'm no clairvoyant or, you know, future teller or anything like that. Um, I haven't tapped into those powers as of yet, but I'm telling you right now, mark my words, this second wave is coming. So don't get too used to your freedoms because they're about to be taken away again. And I really hope I'm wrong. I really, really hope I'm wrong. But I don't see it going that way because I know what the plan is. So I wanted to warn you guys about what's going on. And maybe with my words here, you guys hear these words and then you see it happen, maybe that'll wake you up to what's really going on. Because if, if enough of us wake up and realize that we are the power, we are the blood of the system, and that we're not going to take this, that we ain't having this shit, then we're going to take back our power and take back our freedom. And we're not going to live for this anymore. We're going to create a new world. And that's what this is all about. I just want people to unite with love and peace and harmony because that's what they don't want. That is their worst fear is unity. You know, this hierarchy that sits at the top that has these commands all the way down, you know, you got your governments, and then you got your uh, the media, the police, the military, all that. These commands come all the way down the hierarchy, and then you know they're casted down on us at the bottom of the pyramid. So we need to start rising up and taking back our power and saying we ain't having this. And once we do that, we're going to start creating a better world for ourselves. There can't be any division, guys. You know this whole Black Lives Matter movement is simply a form of division it was staged a hundred percent once you realize that we are all eternal spiritual beings having a temporary human experience from the same point of consciousness then you realize that you know just with different experiences then you realize that we're just all one you know I don't consider myself white I consider myself consciousness you know, eternal spiritual being. This is just a temporary experience currently, right? Everyone has different experiences. But once we unite and realize that there is no division and realize that we're all one, we can't be controlled. So that's the main message. We cannot be controlled if we all unite with love and realize that we're all one. And once we realize this, then we're going to be free. And that's all I want. That's uh, that's the world that I see is a free world for us. So that's really all I wanted to say today, guys. I just want that free world. I want people to unite with love. I want people to realize that we are all one. And once we do that, that we're going to take back our power. And once again, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, press that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But for now, we'll part ways. So peace, love, and have a glorious day.